is a great honour, a great club, and uh, to be captain, uh, it's probably one of the best best things that could happen. Yeah, it's certainly a privilege, and it's a great honour to be a captain of this football club. 150 years of, of history, 16 premierships, the leader in the competition with Essendon, uh, and to go to the next one, and Mark Murphy might be the man. Oh, it's it, just a tremendous honour to, to captain the Carlton Footy Club, and certainly one of the, the things I'm most proudest of in my footy career. It's a great privilege, and uh, Murph uh, should target us that way. I certainly did when I was lucky enough to be given that role, and I think Murph at uh, what age, 25, played 140-odd games. It's a perfect time for Murph to take over the reins of this footy club from uh, the great Chris Judd, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a privilege and an honour, and uh, I think Murph will put himself very well. Uh, to me, this, this club is the greatest club you know, in Australia by far. So for me, as a young kid growing up through the ranks and playing reserves under-19s and then finally seniors, to get that honour was incredible. It was almost surreal for me when they first asked me. So it meant a lot to me, really. I mean, it's a proud club and I wore the Guernsey you know, uh, with honour. And uh, so to get that privilege was incredible. I think you, uh, you know, you really need to, to lead from the front. You need to be a good communicator. Um, be professional. And I, th I think it always helps if you play well at important stages of the game. It takes different types. You don't have to be loud. You don't have to be boisterous. Sometimes you can be quiet. But it's about example. Setting an example for the players and actually being able to control the, your teammates and make them feel as though that they have to do something selfless for each other to become a very good team. I think leading by example is the most obvious one to me, on and off the field though. So it's not just about on the field, but it's about off the field too, just to setting the right example for the younger generations coming through. Probably a lot, but I think basically being yourself and uh, being a, uh, a good player, number one, you'll get the best out of yourself. But uh, I think as you build and grow into the job, you sort of, uh, you know, you can't demand respect, you have to sort of command it. But the main thing is just to be a good uh, role model train hard, play well, do all the right things. Uh, when things have to be um, made decisions, tough ones for the team, you make hard decisions. You, you know, on the training track, you become an assistant coach, you help the younger players, you guide them. But above all, just be yourself and be a good player.